There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. I do apologize for the delay in your room. It'll just be a few more moments. Be sure to check out this library. In the meantime, there's many good books and artifacts in here. I'm sure you'll find something interesting. <laughs> this drawer with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the twilight zone. Amid the glitz and the glitter of a bustling young movie town at the height of its golden age, the Hollywood Tower Hotel was astounded in its own right, a beacon for the show business at least. Now, something is about to happen that will change all that. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard, because in tonight's episode, you are the star, and this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. It'll just be a quick trip through the boiler room towards your service elevators. I do hope you all enjoy your stay here with us tonight. We wish nothing more than to lift your spirits here at the Hollywood Tower. Thank Ciao. You. Bye. 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 Bye.
unfriendly word of warning. Something you won't find in any guidebook. The next time you check into a deserted hotel on the dark side of Hollywood, make sure you know just what kind of vacancy you're filling. Or you may find yourself a permanent resident of the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.